。咁第十六條咧就問返呢，當我哋嗰個鏡嘅橫切面呢，咁切到去見到紅色嘅部分啊嘛，係咪？咁佢就問返啦，咁其實呢，係喺個鏡嘅邊一個部分會見到紅色啊？即係嗰啲紅色嘅點點呢，應該係咩嘅排位呢？咁其實呢條題目啦，第一呢，就要我哋分得清呢，究竟佢係問緊個勁啊，定係個根啊？而家問緊個 shoot 啊嘛，即係我哋要揾嘅應該係 stem 嘅部分啦。跟住啦，仲要再揾下呢，喺 stem 嘅部分，咁嗰個木質部同埋嗰呢個韌皮部嘅擺位咯。咁啊，因為啦，木質部呢，先係攞嚟運水㗎嘛。咁而家嗰啲紅色嘅染料呢。就係、是、溶咗喺個水個雪，咁所以啦，當我哋陣間要揾嘅呢，應該係揾一個 s i l e n t vessel 嘅。咁首先啦，邊個係徑呢？咁 A、B 呢都係根嚟嘅，咁所以就係 say goodbye 啦。跟住啦，咁究竟係入面嘅部分啦，定係出面嘅部分呢？咁我哋睇返幅圖啦，就知道呢應該入面嘅部分嚟嘅。咁所以答案呢，就係 D 嚟啦。呢條 M C 就梗係簡單啦，咁但係有時咧將佢變做做其他題目嘅話呢，你又要小心咯。咁啊，其中一款啦，可以變化嘅題型呢，就係變成短題目啦。Stay and explain the appearance of the shoot section。咁首先啊，你梗係要講得返嗰啲紅色嘅染料部分呢，應該喺內圍嘅部分，係一個 inner region 嚟嘅。咁跟住要解釋咯，點解佢喺 inner region 啊？咁啊，因為啦 ，inner region 呢就先係我哋嘅 s i l e n t vessel。咁 s i l e n t vessel 攞嚟做咩㗎？就運送水分，而呢個紅色嘅染料呢，就係溶咗落個水嗰樹嘅。咁所以我哋就喺 s i l e n t vessel 呢揾到佢啦。咁呢條就問個徑啫，咁另一款變就咪問返個根咯。咁即係話答案呢，就應該會係 A 同 B 㗎喇喎。我哋又睇返啦 s i l e n t vessel 呢，喺中間位置嘅，咁即係答案呢，就會變咗做 A 噶喇喎。跟住啦，去到第三款變奏呢，就唔係問 side lump vessel 啦，就係、是、問呢 full lump vessel 嘅。咁今次呢，我哋就唔係睇個水啦。今次呢，我係俾咗一啲有放射性嘅二氧化碳地坡植物呢，去進行呢個光合作用。咁進行光合作用啦，其實就會用咗啲碳呢，去製造嗰啲糖分啊嘛。而呢個糖分呢，就將會喺韌皮部嗰樹呢，就運送。喺個徑嗰樹，喺個根嗰樹，咁究竟喺邊一 part 啦？會見到嗰啲有放射性嘅碳呢？如果佢係問你個 root 嘅，咁咪 B 咯；如果佢係問你個 stem 嘅，咁咪就係 C 咯。兩 Sir 其實 keep 住講呢啲題型嘅變奏，希望大家咧見到植物嘅題目咧都有多一啲嘅信心。Question 16 is about the observation under the microscope. We are going to observe the section of the remaining shoot. So remember that from question 15, we cut from the top of the shoot until we see the red color appear. So how can we observe the red color appear? So which of the following diagram correctly show the appearance of the shoot? Sections. So the first concept checking in this question is the difference between the stem and the root. So in this question, we are going to observe the shoot. So that's why we should observe the stem section. So that's why for the options A and B, we can say goodbye today. And the second concept, we need to identify the location of xylem vessel and the phloem vessel. After we can identify the location of xylem vessel and phloem vessel, we need to recall the function of xylem vessels and the phloem vessels. So basic idea is that xylem vessels they are responsible for the water and mineral transport. So in the question, the red dye, the red stain, they dissolve in the water, and then that's why the red dye will be transported in the water along the xylem vessel. So that's why in the diagram we need to identify the xylem vessel's location. It is pointing inwards. So that's why the answer is D, because we can see that the region is pointing inwards. That's for the question sixteen, and any other possible question variation. So now it is a MC question, and then I can change it to a short structural question. Stay and explain the appearance of the shoot sections. Red dye region it should be pointing inwards in the stem section, and the explanation is that because the region pointing inwards is the xylem vessel. And for the second variation, will be the appearance of the root section. Question sixteen is asking for shoot section, but what about we tune it to the root section? And the answer will be A or B. But for A or B, so let's take a look at the root section. Say the xylem vessels, they are in the inner part, so that's why the answer is A. In this experiment, we are observing the water absorption, but what about Now we are providing the radioactive carbon dioxide for the plants to carry out photosynthesis. So that's why the plant will use the carbon dioxide to produce the sugar, the carbohydrates, and then the carbohydrates they will be transported in the phloem vessels. 
So that's why in the question, I can ask you for the shoot section or for the root section, we can detect the radioactive carbon. So if it's asking for the root section, so the answer will be B. So what about the question is asking the shoot section? So the answer will be C. So I hope that after I keep talking about the possible question variation, you will become more confident to deal with the plant questions.